our last question is on calculus, which is integration. Most people, <laughs> they don't go well with calculus. Calculus is one of the easiest. So question number 11, you are told to integrate. This sign means integration with the limits of 5 and 2. Integrate x squared minus 3x plus 2 divided by x minus 2 with reference to d, dx. So before you start integration, you simplify what is in the bracket. We can see a quadratic expression. So the quadratic expression can be simplified by simply writing x squared my plus x squared minus 3x plus 2 divided by x minus 2. Look for two numbers. If you multiply them, gives you positive 2. If you add them, gives you negative 3. So the two numbers are negative 1 and negative 2. When you add these two numbers, gives you negative 3. But when you multiply them, gives you positive 2. So from here, we expand it to x squared minus x minus 2x plus 2 equals, no, just that, divide by x minus 2. When you collect from both sides, you find that what is common here is x. x into, x goes into x squared x times minus x goes into x once minus what is common here, 2 into minus 2 goes into into minus 2x how many times? x times. Then minus 2 goes into plus 2 minus 1. Minus 1. What is common to these two? Is x plus 1. x minus 1, sorry. Into, you collect this x and minus 2 together also. x minus 2. So we have our equation simplified as x minus 1 into x minus 2 divide by x minus 2. So this x and this x goes. So the equation, the equation that we have simplified is x minus 1. So you are told to integrate this with limits of 5 and 2. Okay? 5 and 2 dx. So we want to integrate this value. So I want to start on a fresh page on the integration. So we are integrating with the, the limits. Upper limit is 5, lower limit is 2 of x minus 1 dx. So when you are integrating x, just write x. Then x has a silent power of 1. Add 1 to it. Remember differentiation, we were subtracting 1. But integration, you add 1. Then what you divide with it, what you add, what you get from the power, you divide with that answer that you get, with the summation of 1 plus 1, that is 2. Then minus, remember here we have 1. 1 can also be written as 1 times x raised to power 0. So 1 can be written as x raised to power 0. You add 1, then divide it by that value that you get. 0 plus 1 is 1. And now, our limits here are 5 and 2. Okay? That's it. This gives us x squared divided by 2. Okay? Minus x raised to power 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. So therefore, x power 1 is x. Limits of 5 and 2. So when you want to open this bracket to insert the limits, you simply, where there is x, you start with the upper limits. Where there is x, you replace it with 5. So you say 5 squared divided by 2 minus x here is 5. Then this value that you get, you subtract the lower limit. We have upper limit and the lower limit. So the upper limit is 5 into these values minus 2 into these values. 
minus, you replace 2 here. So it becomes 2 squared divided by 2 minus 2. You open this up, 5 squared is 25 from your calculator, divide by 2, minus 5, minus, 2 squared is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, then minus 2. 25 divided by 2 is 12.5, so 12.5 minus 5, minus 2 minus 2 is 0, therefore 12.5 minus 5, you get 7.5. That is the value. Finally, finally, find the value of A. That's question number 12. Find the value of A that satisfy the, the limits A and 0 of x squared plus 1 dx equals to 2a. I want us to be very careful here. It's just a matter of being keen. We first of all have to integrate this. So by integrating this, as I told you, you write x, the first integrate the first part x, then it is squared, add 1 in integration, integration, add 1, then divide by the summation of what you get, which is 3, plus, here we have x raised to power 0. I told you any number raised to power 0 is 1. Any letter raised to power 0 is 1. So x raised to power 0 plus 1, divide by 1. What do we get here? This is x cubed divide by 3, plus x raised to power 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. x raised to power 1 is just x. So these values, after opening, after integrating, you don't write dx. You just replace it with the limits of 5 and 0. You, and again, you don't write the integral sign because you've already integrated it. So this value equals to 2a. Again, just replace where there is x, replace with 5. So this becomes 5 cubed, 5 raised to power 3, divide by 3, plus 5. Okay? So in this case, it is not 5, it is a, sorry. This is a, a and 0. So we are finding the value of a. So where there is x, you write a. So it is a cubed, a cubed. a raised to power 3 divided by 3 plus, this is a, not 5, a, equals to 2a. Then collect the like terms. a raised to power 3 divided by 3 equals to 2a when a crosses the other side becomes minus a. So a raised to power 3 divided by 3 equals to 2a minus a is a. Then cross multiply by 3, cross multiply by 3, both sides. This 3 and 3 goes. Then we have a raised to power 3 equals to 3a. Then we can further simplify by dividing by a because a is common. So a and a goes. Therefore, if a divided by a raised to power 3. It's like saying a times a times a. When I put dot means times. a times a times a. Divide by a equals to 3. So from here, a can cancel 1a. Then you remain with a times a, which can be written as a squared. So a squared equals to 3. If you want to find the value of a, you find the square root of 3. So a is root 3, and the square root of 3 is 1.7321. From your calculator, that is the answer. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've finished our lesson. I hope it was so enjoyable. And next time we are going to do chemistry from next week. We'll also proceed with mathematics. I'll be communicating the days. But this time around, 
we'll be handling mathematics topic-wise. We'll be dealing with a topic, then solving quick questions, challenges on that topic. I would like to wish you all the best and tell you that this is more reason why I told the Ministry of Education to bring the papers in my office for verification because I'm overqualified. Thank you. God bless you all. Asante Nisana.